<laughs> I forgot about that. I, uh, yeah. I just want to take some pictures. <laughs> 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 oh, you, you're you, good at that. See, Esteban does the best voices. You do. You just like <laughs> but the problem is when he does that kind of like a, a voice of a, a cursed that. voice. A cursed voice. <laughs> when I he does a it. cursed voice, a cursed impression. <laughs> Whew. Scary. Lights. Come on. Action. She saw a goat sitting in a rocking chair, cross leg like a human. You fall asleep in the movie. You wake up. Everyone's gone. Go, 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 go. Look up, and there is this thing. The wingspan covered a lot of the camper. That was the greatest night in the history of television. Well, here we are. <laughs> yeah. Again. Week two, Oktoberfest. Elijah, you have a friend. Well, I hope a little more than a friend. Um, I certainly hope I haven't been friend zoned uh, for two years. Although sometimes <laughs> she does call me dude, but sometimes I call you bro. You do, mm-hmm. and you really don't like when I call I you bro. I don't know why I don't like that, dude. But I can call him dude, and that's okay. It yeah. depends on yeah. when, though, and how. But <laughs> I, so, under, I understand this. Do you, you're you're already yeah his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You're like this is real life. <laughs> This is I real feel life. that. Yeah. <laughs> and as you heard, yes, this is um this is my muse. This is <laughs> the apple of my eye. Um the you warned me. the scarlet <laughs> to my Johansson. Okay. Oh. Wow. And the Tom to my Brady. Or mm. the Tom to your Hardy. The Tom to my hard E. e. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> Do another one, please. Um, the the macaroni to my cheese That's my is where I was headed. Mm-hmm. That's nice. <laughs> That's and good. of course, the peanut butter to my jelly. Wow. Um, which is what we ate before we came here because true story. We're poor. <laughs> Not that poor. You know, we're resourceful. We just didn't have time to make dinner. We Elvis's didn't. <laughs> favorite food was peanut butter and jelly. What your favorite one? No, Elvis's. That's true. Peanut butter. Was, huh? Well, they were usually like fried peanut butter banana sandwiches. That was peanut his thing. Jelly. But he was super rich. Yes. Now I got a yeah. prom- I got yeah. I gotta ask real fast. You, yeah. Did you see the trailer for Priscilla? I did. What do you think as an Elvis fan? Oh, I'm putting you <laughs> way on the spot. This is like might have to cut this because you're gonna be like, you know what? Elvis did no wrong. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, my only comment, it looks good. Yeah, it does look good. Um, it looks very stylistic. It does. I'm, I'm gonna see it. Sophia Coppola. Mm-hmm. Come on. Daughter of Francis Ford. That. I haven't watched the trailer with you. Oh. So <laughs> And that's something that happens sometimes. We watch things without each other and then we discover it, it on yeah. live television. <laughs> and then getting <laughs> unfolding. And that's the true horror in this episode. Yeah. It's just going to be a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're just like, I watch this without you. We just start and fighting. And we see what happens. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, my only comments are going to be on the Elvis performance right now. Yeah. Is it right now? Jason uh, Jacob. Uh, Jacob Elordi, Nate Jacobs, Nate Jacobs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced yet. Yeah, we'll see. We'll right, see. Right after A. B. Austin Butler. Yeah, I mean those are hard shoes to <laughs> fill. That's they are be a hard performance to follow up on. Yeah, and I mean that's fresh. Just it's last a, year. Yeah, right away. So we'll they moved see. quick on that one. To his credit, he doesn't have three years like Austin Butler did. Yeah, right away. But, but. But I'm listening to the voice and I'm like, hmm, mm. I don't know if it's quite there for me. Interesting. Yeah. We'll see. Even the look. If I'm being honest, it just looks like Jacob Elordi. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, like Austin, they yeah. did a few things, little prosthetics, here, whatever. Different episode. It looks, <laughs> it looks episode. like a flashback scene in Euphoria. Yeah. And like, <laughs> it looks like if Jacob Elordi went as Elvis for Halloween. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he was just like, oh yeah, that, that would be like a Halloween episode. Yeah. Rest in peace, Angus Cloud. Rest Seriously though. Yeah. We miss him. Yeah. We do. Um, so hard. <clears throat> my dear darling. Yeah. Hey. Would you like to tell us why we're here today? Why you're here? Yes. I'm here because I'm gonna tell my spooky stories. Yeah. Finally. We love it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've heard that you have potentially like a lot of good stuff. I do. Um I could probably write a book. 
And you, she will. Right so yeah. if anyone ever watches this episode, I'm going to need you to wait for that. And I, I will start pre-orders now. Yeah. But it might not come out for like 10 years. But you should still send us money to pre-order her Longer book coming out in 10 years. You know why? Because <laughs> inflation. Inflation. If you pre-order it now, it's going to be way cheaper than it will be in 10 years. You could put it on layaway for a penny a day. Yeah. For the next 10 years. That's not bad. <laughs> I don't know what the math is on that. That's like a quarter a day. Three dollars and sixty five cents a year. A quarter for 10 a day. years is 30. That's a that's a pretty expensive book. A quarter a day <laughs> for 10 years. Okay. Okay. I'm All sorry. Right. I like how you guys go back and forth like that. Yes. Thank you. Oh, we do it too. We're going to, yeah. we're going to have to show them our charm and chemistry. You guys have great chemistry. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. The people we, I have the most chemistry with all in one it. room. Nice. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. um, thanks for having me. Yeah. You're welcome, baby. <laughs> And I'm so happy you're here. Um, yeah, you have plenty of scary stories. Um, you've told me a lot of them, mm -hmm. but I'm excited to hear them again. Yes. Um, start start from the beginning. Get, start from the so beginning. So I've always had experiences since I was like a little ass kid. Okay. Like my parents, you know, they would tell me, my mom would tell me stories when I was like a teenager. I don't remember them though. That's what's a little creepy. Mm, that's extra creepy. So mm -hmm. I'd say I'm maybe like th two or three, you know, and I would like go to my parents and be like, there's a man outside my window. Mm -hmm. Like all, the, like a lot. Oh. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so my dad thinking there's an actual man out my window would like go and check and like no one would be there. So I would just like say really weird shit all the time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like I would say like hands were trying to get me like Whoa. out of the walls. Like who says that at like, huh. three or four? Yeah. So my mom was very like, there's something, you know, going on with this child. Yeah. yeah. And there's another time we, I was in the kitchen with my mom. I, once again, I don't remember any of this stuff. Um, and I would just be like, we would be chilling, you know, I don't know, just playing or something. And I'd stop and like look in the corner and be like, and then the fly swatter, like on the nail, would just be like, whoosh, 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 oh, no. like all crazy. Going crazy. <laughs> crazy. No. Going brazy. And I would be like, it's here. <laughs> and I'd be like, what the fuck? What do you mean it's here? You know? So like just things like that. So you're, you're literally, you were the kid in every horror movie. I was. That like says all the shit and the parents are like, there's, mm. it's just, he's just a kid. And yeah. My the mama house gets wrecked. Me. But your parents sound like they believe you. Your dad went to check. Yeah. Out the window and all that. Like. I'm per yeah. My dad believes in those things. So. Yeah. They at least believed me. Yeah, that's good. That's, <laughs> that's good at least. Yeah, yeah. because at least the kid usually is raising flags and the adults are like, you know, they lock yeah. them in a closet. Yeah. Whatever. I was not locked in a closet. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah. You locked me in a closet a time or two. <laughs> Just kidding. It was twice. You can cut oh. that. You can cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I won't go too crazy with that. Our mothers might watch that. <laughs> Your mother does watch this. My mother watches this all the time. <laughs> and she'll say. <sighs> Love you, mom. <laughs> Anyhow. Okay. Yeah. Anyhow. Anywho. And then also, like, my first memory, so, like, my actual memories of anything was just my dreams. So I have really wild dreams Ooh. as well. Yes. So, like, I just remember at a very young age, um, which makes you wonder, like, when do you start remembering your dreams, you know? Yeah, true. I remember dreams from, like, three or four. That's probably the same age. Honestly, you guys know it's weird, and I think I've maybe told you this like this, but I feel like the scariest dreams I've had worse the earliest dreams i remember and then i stopped having like that scary of dreams i don't know why mm -hmm. huh. but i remember i was in a church and people were trying to tickle me that was a Ooh. dream that i remember from back then <laughs> that's a nightmare Ew. and it was like a nap dream like i was literally <laughs> oh. it was like daytime and i was like sleeping on the floor in the living room just napping like a kid does yeah. and i remember waking up terrified something about day nap dreams yeah they hit a lot harder something about a church and tickling yeah no. doesn't sit right with me no to this day <laughs> no 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 i wonder what that meant <laughs> <laughs> don't go to church <laughs> don't go away yeah. now <laughs> all right your early dreams yeah just like horror horror just horror yeah my mom would be like what do i do for this poor kid you know yeah. i was tormented <laughs> yeah so she got me like this little angel pendant and it gave me peace. 
Huh. For a while. Right. Oh. <laughs> Until <laughs> it came back. <laughs> Until. Until my teen, you know. It, yeah, it's weird. It, like, it's not there all the time, but it's definitely there through different periods of my life. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, that makes sense to me. Ever since I've been with you, like, it starts and it stops. Yeah. Like, it's- I've seen it firsthand. Like, there are times where, it, like, it's amplified and, like, you're having mad dreams and, like, you know, I mean, I'm not going to mince words here. Shit be coming true. Yeah. yeah. You're Weird seeing shit happens. you can't see. You're, you're knowing stuff you couldn't know. Damn. Like I can feel like my family. Yeah. I know when my sisters are going through hard times, yeah. my mom, Ooh. my dad, everybody. All you got a little bit of clairvoyance. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely. That's the one what that is. That's the one. Um, I mean, you're literally the horror movie tropes. Yeah, like, there's always that girl who has like the reoccurring thing and she's wakes up sweating <laughs> and then the husband's so like, mean. what's wrong? And she's like, it's happening again. I'm having the <laughs> dreams. And then he's like, no, that's it. Don't worry. Nothing can, bad can happen. And then they get destroyed. It so would, I hope you're listening to her when she has these horrible oh, yeah. dreams. I hope that you're not just like, oh, it's he does. He does. Good. good but good, good. I had to learn the hard way a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I tell him. Um, well, which one, which one do you think, which one do you have in mind? Cause I, I'm trying to think of off the top of my head, like full wrong, like I had to admit. I just think you, you didn't believe in those things so strongly cause they didn't like happen to you that much. Yeah, definitely. Especially like the dreaming, like before I met you, I kind of discounted dreams. Like I, I thought maybe like they had some significance, but like, I didn't think they had any actual like bearing. Yeah. You, Esteban, you come from a sensitive family, right? Yeah, for sure. Sensitive, like we, yeah, yeah, we have we have psychic things in our family for sure. So what I say is not crazy. Too. No, not at all. Yeah, I yeah, I love that. Which yeah. this is like this is very New Mexican and this is very like Hispanic, Chicano, whatever you want to call it. Like this is kind of our culture. We kind of all have that. It's like in tune. Yeah. But, I'd love to hear some of your stories sometime. Oh yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't. I definitely don't have anything crazy like that would scare anybody. Definitely not. Yeah. Um, but I mean, just like little things where I'm like, oh, like dreams that come true. Yeah, I've definitely seen that happen before. Well, what's weird, and I'll say this lastly, and then we can jump back into your stories. Like, and we'll kind of we'll kind of come back to this, but um, ever since I've been around you, my shit started going crazier. Sorry. Oh, it's yeah. like once you like realize that once you kind of like believe it's possible, yeah. you kind of either it's like it was happening to you and you would just like discount it and be like, nah, that's like not real. Yeah. Or like it never did. And now it is happening to you. And then you're like, Oh shit, this is weird. Cause I had me some fucking weird ones too. Well, clearly, but we'll, we'll circle around. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you were tormented. The, the, an- <laughs> oh, the yeah. angel pendant gave you some peace. Yes. And then for a while. until it didn't, until it didn't. Hmm. So I think like definitely dreams were happening around. Like, I don't think they ever go away. Yeah. Unless I, I will literally be like, fucking leave me alone. Like I lose it. And they, it, they go away for a while. Yeah. Oh shit. And then I'm like, come back. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Cause for me, I think it's different for a lot of people, but like I have the gift of like warnings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm like warned. Yeah. It's the littlest thing. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. Too. Thankfully it's <clears throat> if someone's being shady. My like shady radar is just fucking like crazy. Going nuts. Off. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Well, like you, I feel like I've seen some crazy experience, but you've had some crazy experiences before I met you. I feel like probably some a little crazier than I've had with you. But what I was thinking, excuse me, is that (laughs) um, thankfully the stuff that you'll get warned about in your in like a dream won't like what happens in real life won't be as extreme. And that's a good thing. Oh, that's good. <laughs> like, the dream is extreme. But the dream is so Holy extreme shit. that it'll be terrifying. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm like waiting every day. I'm like, when is it going to I won't happen? specify, but like the car accident dream, right? Yeah. It's like, it felt like metaphorical. Yeah. Like a car accident. It, this doesn't mean like a car accident is going to happen. Yeah. But then there's also that element of like, but what if? Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So, so at least that's what I've seen. 
being in your life. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to say the, the scariest experience I've ever had. Um, I think I was about maybe 17 or 18 around this time. And I was staying at my uncle's house Mm. and my uncle was always, I never understood why until that moment and why my uncle was so weird. Like he would (laughs) leave the radio on the TVs on. Yeah. And I would just be like, uncle, like, why do you leave all your shit on? And he's like, because of the energy or some shit like that. And I, I didn't mm. understand what he meant by that. I never caught on until, of course, I started staying there. Because if there's if I'm staying somewhere and there's something in the house, I'm going to see it or fill it. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just, like, what happens. Mm. So I am, like, getting ready for bed. At, like, even telling the story, like, I get chills. It's, like, really scary. <laughs> it's, so <laughs> scary. it's so scary. Um, and I'm getting ready for bed. I'm on the phone. And I see, like, a black figure like little girl figure come mm-hmm. in the mm-hmm. hall and then like go in the corner like the corner like that and um i thought it, my little cousin um was maybe like four at the time so i thought it was her obviously you know like yeah. who else would it be and i looked and i was like at first i was like the hair was longer than hers so i was confused already and i think i felt a presence already so i was just like kind of weirded out and I, I was like come here baby because i you know, I was like, come here. And I was like putting my hand out and then I went to like touch her and then it like fucking ran. And I was like, and I went like that and my mom was in the other room and I said, I was like, mom. And she's like, what? And I was like, where's Alex? And she's like, she's sleeping right next to me. And I was like, what the hell? So like ran into the room and like I saw for myself cause I was like, no way, no way, you know? Yeah. And Sure enough, she was sleeping and I don't think I slept that night. No, I did not sleep that <laughs> night. You know, I wouldn't sleep uh, many nights after that. many a night. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was terrified. And then the next day, obviously no sleep, scared. I told my uncle and he looked me in the eye and told me, don't you ever talk about that. And I was like, he was mad at me. Whoa. And he said, what did you bring in my house? And I was just like, <laughs> okay. And then I went to school, <laughs> you know, but yeah, like that was just, that was an experience. Yeah. No, that one is. And there's more to it, but I will not share that. Yeah. I'll now, share this with you after. The, but yeah. <laughs> now I remember what the more is. So right. Isn't I understand. That weird yeah. though? First, I couldn't remember for a second, but I remember now. Yeah. And that's. It's scary. It's one of the scariest experiences. It's always the little ghost girl. Always. That shit's the scariest thing to me. The Shining. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exorcist movies. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. I mean. The Ring. I've never seen The Ring, but yeah. That's scary. Ma. Oh, no, not Ma. (laughs) What is it? No, Ma's the. Ma's the. (laughs) Well, that one's one's pretty uh, freaky, too. (laughs) No, what's the one? Is it Mama? Or Mama. Mama. I remember Mama. I remember Mama. I guess that one's more like a ghost mommy, but. I like that one. Underrated. I, yeah. I think I saw it with uh, Lons. Ah, Alana. shout out. I'm pretty shout sure out Lons. back in the day, back in the heyday. Back in the old heyday. Yeah. Times were times were different. Times were worse. <sighs> well, <laughs> in our lives, because we were younger. Yeah. Life's better now. <laughs> in the world, Somewhat. world worse now. It swapped. World, world was better. Bad. Life was worse. Yeah. Life is better. World is worse. There it you is. You need yin and yang. That's exactly what I was <laughs> trying to say. <laughs> okay so that was horrifying yeah that's a that's a that's a bad one yeah yeah um so do you do hopefully you don't feel anything in this space oh that's a great question <clears throat> that's a great question i don't feel anything okay good yeah i mean when i move into a new space i do the whole fucking thing mm-hmm. and you should burn all kinds of shit and go to each corner and yeah Absolutely. Yeah. You've done that. And I, and we love that, that you've done that. And disclaimer, this isn't her first time here too. So I think you, if you would have felt something, it would have been some time ago. True. Yeah. It was, uh, when we tortured ourselves by watching Morbius, (laughs) that was a good old time. That was a good old time. And then eating hot things while watching Morbius. I mean, after watching Morbius. Yeah. And I think watching Morbius was more painful. Yeah. I think we should do that with the room. No. (laughs) (laughs) See, the room's enjoyable. Yeah. I think we should do that with a movie like Swiped or something. Oh, God. God. (laughs) Down. So 
that was about like you said, 17 age. Um, let's see. So like what else? What else? Like early adulthood. I mean, I can just, when I worked at CDP. Yeah. Yeah. Like oh, that that's, whole apartment oh complex was haunted as fuck. So oh. I love this because <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God, not right away. Cause you lived there for how long before I met you? I lived there for two and a half, two and a half years before you or met me years. or total. Maybe it was like three years. So you probably at least lived there two years before you met me. No, two and a half years and a half. probably. Yeah. So this is slightly where I come in. So I, there's things like after you tell some of your crazy ass stories, like, that's where like I've actually experienced some shit with you. Mm-hmm. Ooh, here we go. So that's insane. And it's kind of funny because in the last episode we talked about, have we ever had any experiences? I must really be in denial because I'm realizing like, I literally like blank out. He gets like that. Like, yeah. Yeah. And you mm-hmm. see it up close and personal. And I'll also like completely like pretend I'll be like, I'll just, I'll be like, I don't know. It must've been, that must've been a, I'm like the stereotypical <laughs> He's the guy. Yeah boyfriend in the no, movie it's just the wind no <laughs> like that damn wheelchair lady i saw and okay. you were like no that wasn't i thought Sorry. it was a man <laughs> by the way anyways that was scary and you were like no anyways i was you know i was in denial it's okay so you saw okay. a wheelchair lady that was after the suicide boys concert down the street from us yeah when we were driving home there was a woman at what time at night at least one o'clock yeah in a Give wheelchair yeah faced towards the wall in darkness oh i <laughs> screamed bloody murder and i asked him did you see that too because i was like what the fuck and you saw it i did see it but he was like that was just like a per like a real i said person. that's probably someone's There's great no uncle way. the way i felt that's probably what just I felt. no way that's probably someone's great uncle who has alzheimer's he just like crawled out of the window <laughs> and found a wheelchair he just moseyed <laughs> on down the ramp <laughs> you guys i don't think that's what it was no it was probably it was really creepy weird and thing. eerie to me we also I live by old town upstairs so oh, fast yeah and yeah, we talked about old town being fucking weird yeah living by old town i I, without a doubt yeah but i'm in denial so thank god i have you because you can (laughs) actually be taken already i would probably be in the abyss in the dark abyss yeah (laughs) (laughs) i really do anoint our house and stuff like that well Um, his pillow yeah i anoint extra yeah she does oh (laughs) i use holy water oh but i really do yeah just not as much as i said no we get (laughs) Wash his pillowcase. More like sprinkle. We should get a holy. We should get like a one of the spray things oh, and yeah. put the holy water in that. That's a good idea. We could spray the cats. Yeah. Whenever they're acting up, so I actually put holy water. I sprinkled holy water on our cat. Yeah. Because really? his eyes get ginormous and blacked out as if he is possessed by a demon. Oh God. I think he just has the zoomies. <laughs> but he, then he bites our other cat's neck. Oh my tries God. Tries to kill him. Vampire all. Tries cat? to kill him. Yeah. So I sprinkled it. I tried to perform an exorcism on our cat <laughs> twice. Didn't do a good job. Terrible job. Oh my God. So there you have that. So CDP, but you live there and work there. So I worked with the homeless people. Yeah. Oh, okay. I lived on property with them as a residential manager. In the war zone. In the war zone. Huh. They're getting off drugs. They're, there's a lot of schizophrenic people. There's a lot of, you know. Getting out of prison. A lot of energy, I want to say. Yeah. A lot oh, yeah. of energy. No, yeah. So therefore, that place was popping with ghosts. It was. People were, you know, there's people that died there. Oh. Um, so I, I would think that's what it is. And with addiction and any of that stuff, I do believe that there's some dark forces or energy sure, yeah. around it. Yeah. And I think when you're trying to do a good thing, you know, they're just like, nah. These are my people. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's literally True. like that. Because I've seen it. I've seen clients literally fight something. Yeah. I don't know oh. what it is. I can't sit here and tell you what it is, but I see them fight their demons. But anyways, that place And you've seen them flip. Shit. You've told flip. me stories of like oh, <clears throat> one day they're being like, and it, and it is like the shift. One of the shifts is technically like in the physical, it's like this person started using drugs again. Right. Right. But- like spiritually speaking, like he literally flipped 
personality completely as if something else. The presence yeah. is not the same. Yeah. I will literally look at a motherfucker and say, I don't know who you are. Yeah. I have literally tell him that. I'm like, get it on my face. Mm-hmm. You're not, you're not him. <laughs> you're not. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You. <laughs> you're not right. that guy. It's creepy. You're not him. I just got that's the chills even, saying yeah. that. Oof, scares me. Real shit. Cause I, I could tell that's another experience. I'd have to come on and tell that story. Those stories. Insane. Yeah. But just cause I li- like, once again, I lived there. So there's a, an apartment there's actually a side of the apartment. We call it the dark side. <laughs> it's like the upside down. And it was mm. just so fucking haunted. All my residents would like, and that's the thing. Like, why is it that every resident that comes through, there were so many that came through in and out, in and out, in and out. It was always the same apartments mm-hmm. always. And I'd be like, that's not by accident. No. Right. No, you know, and the, the apartment I lived under was haunted as heck and i would always hear just furniture moving around banging stomping to the point like i'd go up there and be like someone had to have snuck in they like didn't turn their key in they're living up here you know because that's something they would do and sure enough not a single soul in that room right oh God. and think like my broom would fly at me i had my what? broom fly at me a couple of times there was one time I was washing dishes and a cup flew out of my cupboard and that was like pushed way in the back and it just like flew. Yeah, oh, hell no. I swear to you, I <laughs> ran out of that apartment. I left oh everything. God. Yeah. And I took my phone and my keys and I ran out of that apartment. Yeah. And I went for a drive and I was like, I need someone to come pray over this house because <laughs> mm. shit's going down. In the name. Yes. In the name. In the name. <laughs> <laughs> How about That's, the um the back door too? In your room was a door, which is crazy. Yes. That went to the back area. It was like mm-hmm. an apartment. The back rooms. Right. <gasps> what if one day ooh, what if one day you opened that door <laughs> and then you were in a in the back rooms? Oh babe. god. I don't think I'd be here right now. <laughs> That's fair. I'd be fucking in the back rooms. But what if? Out. Yeah. Oh my god. And it never, I'm assuming it never happens when anyone else is around. Um, for the most part. Or for sometimes. the most part, yeah, but I feel like it happens to people more when I am around. It oh, okay. will happen. So, See, like, now if, I'm like, if I hear something out there, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm all just trying to listen. Right now. <laughs> Do we hear it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, yeah, and that's, you know, I mean, you said it it's kind of funny. We were just talking about this, but you said, uh, your sister, your younger sister said what to me? <laughs> Cause we tell a lot of scary stories when we're together and he, we were dating for how long? A couple months. Couple six. months. And she like turns to him and she's like, um, <laughs> well, if you don't have experiences now, you, you're going to have them or something. Yes. Yeah, so, like if you haven't had them had yet them now, or something like that, you're going to start having them. I wanted yeah. to say like word for word, but I, I don't really remember. Right. It's so yeah. ominous. I know. And she's like, you better get ready. Bucky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like, so, okay. Yeah. I remember one thing that I was going to say, it's like, wouldn't it be, isn't it like so perfect that I would end up with like the, um, a stereotypical horror protagonist, like in, yeah. in this Ashley Taddy here. Yeah. Who is like the textbook, like horror movie child, teen, yep. adult. Unfortunately, <laughs> your life has been a horror movie. You literally live And one. that's why I'm here to try and make it a comedy. <laughs> You're trying to bring a little Jordan Peele to it. Yes. Okay. But the actual fa- that. the fact of the matter is I need her more than she needs me. Let's be honest. Aww. This is a strong ass woman right here. Studio I'm really audience. a little, yeah. Cue it. Aww. Aww. That is very sweet, honey. Do it. <laughs> Say aw. <aww>. Say aw. <laughs> but seriously, you know I love you. I'm just giving you shit. You know I have to give you shit on the podcast. But the truth of the matter is, like, this woman can handle that shit. You know. Well, let's, okay. Well, oh, first bro. of all, let's do CDP. So I met you when you were finishing up at CDP. Um, Quick, cute, I guess, part of our we, when we met story is like, I was worried that you would judge the fact that I had a shitty car. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, and like, that my dad hey. lived with me. Yeah. But I think if correct me if I'm wrong, you were worried that 
I would judge that you live in the war zone. Yeah. <laughs> My life was a fucking chaos every day. Like those clients were the craziest people I've ever dealt with, dude. Like I'm telling you, I can write a book about it. And you lived with them I lived there. With them. In the heart of the war zone. Yes, like, I did. Not Those the edges, not the... <laughs> nope. Thankfully, and I'm an ex-drug addict, so I've been plenty to the war zone. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really super phased. <laughs> What's funny to me is they put me in charge of that place, and I'm like, I'm just like a little girl. Right, yeah, <laughs> right. And I, I just had the attitude, I guess. You're a badass. <laughs> you fucking put that shit down. Really yeah. Did. You did. So... Well, and, and yeah, you were worried that I would judge that you lived in the war zone and that your and that your mom lived with you. Yeah, she did live with me. But it that turns time. out both of our parents lived with us. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> That's perfect. And we were I all had, trying to hide it, and I'm yeah. like, "Oh, me too." <laughs> and I had a junker car, and you lived in the zone. Yeah. So when I um started spending the night, why? Why? Just Ooh. kidding. I'm gonna shut up now. Um, <laughs> I'm going to assault him. Oh my God. This is what it's like to be with me. Yeah. People, <laughs> I'm sure people think it, it would be so great to be with me, but it's really, I'm just kidding. I just start ignoring him. Yeah. And then he's like, you're ignoring me. That's. And I'm like, I wonder why that's accurate. <laughs> um, so yeah, I stayed over and I think in the middle of the night we were woken up four or 5 AM by steps above oh. the room. Oh yeah. Oh, no. And that was an empty apartment, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you even said you're like someone's up there, and I'm like, no, there's. You no were like, nah. <laughs> well, if you want to go see, I have the keys. And I was like, I'm tired enough to go back to bed and pretend that was a dream. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, no. At CDP, I had an experience. Um, it was a freaky place, and after you left, someone died mm -hmm. again Damn. there, mm -hmm. and then I got shut down. And you had a dream it would get shut down, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Ooh, okay. And that's why I left. Even though and they were sure telling enough, you. enough, it was shut down. And it's not like they were telling you it's going to shut down. Oh, and no. Then you had, no, they were telling you, like, it's going to thrive, right? <laughs> no, what they told me is that they were going to put us in a better building. Yeah. And they never did that. Yeah. So that's no, why I stayed shut for down. three years. <laughs> <laughs> and it never happened. And then I was like, I can't do this anymore because shit is going down. Yeah. Yeah. No. Good. Good get to here. get out for sure. <laughs> Jesus. Like, I was going to like get possessed or something. I don't it know. It could have happened. Yeah. What if it did? <gasps> <gasps> the lights start flickering. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah screams. He shits himself. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Stage left. No, I'm just trying. Stage left. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> I think this is stage left technically because that would be the audience. Because it's, yeah, I never understood if stage is the way you're facing or the way the audience is facing. Listen, theater, like, that. stop. <laughs> I mean, like, this is the digital age. Like, can we just move on? <laughs> I mean, seriously, at this point, we're still doing Shakespeare. We're still doing Othello. We're still doing fucking Midnight Summer Dream. Oh, my God, dude. We're still doing Hamlet. Dude, enough with Hamlet. We're still doing soliloquies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that little red band, red band side banter <laughs> presented to you by AP Lost English. Mary Vapes. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, babe. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> These are the things I imagine you usually tune out. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> no, no, 100%. No, I do bits all day. Oh, yeah. And all night. And all morning, like, you know, some of my best bits are for an audience of one. Oh, yeah. That's true. No, this is exactly. No, she's seen things that are Oscar worthy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's the best seat in the house. Yeah. You know what? You are very funny. You make me laugh all the time. Thank you. I'm laughing all the time. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like, did that really just come out of his mouth? Yeah. And it does. And it the does. answer is yes, it does come out of his mouth. The movie. answer takes it there. is yes. He will go there. He will. Yep. Recover from it, so mm -hmm. go there again. He the really fuck? does. Uh, it's because I'm getting a phone call. Oh, okay. Potential spam. Should I answer it on fuck it. the pod? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. All right. Hello? I'm calling for the National Police and Trooper Association. We're calling to let you know the new drive is underway. Your support will go to representing the needs of law enforcement officers, whether that be for better equipment, legal representation, more staff, or fair wage. We also believe that the family of fallen officers should receive assistance. So if there's 
lady out an envelope. Can we count on your one time contact? Did you hang up? Hour? Yeah. Okay. That's insane. What happened? Okay. Go ahead. That's it. That's totally it. That is it. So there's this documentary that just came out on HBO Max. Yeah. And it's about this like fucking this huge scam like telemarketer scam thing and it's like the og like telemarketer scam i i I imagine now that that's happened it's the reason that scam likely comes up because i bet you apple has all their shit in a database every place that does this anyways there's a whole documentary it's really good and it's about people who work there because they were like wild west i mean People could get out of prison and get a job there. Teenagers could get a job there. Drug dealers, people were doing drugs, crazy shit. It was like a fucking madhouse. And they were all scamming good Americans all the while saying that they were collecting donations for police shit. Ah. Like he just said, it could go to whatever. What do you say? Uniforms, blah, blah, blah. Families of fallen police officers. Yes. So. Yeah. And I wonder. So, so that's it. We just heard one live and that's and what that entire amazing, and it's a Safety brothers produced documentary. Oh, so shit. the Safety brothers did produce this documentary. Mm. Also, the Safety brothers are coming out with a show on Showtime with Nathan Fielder and Emma Stone called the curse. And it takes place in Española, New Mexico. Oh, that's just that shouting place. out. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about a curse. <clears throat> it looks fucking amazing. It's properly about, named for taking place there. Es- the curse in España. You know, with those, town. whenever I get those spam calls, I always listen. Yeah. I never say hello right away. I just answer because if it's usually completely like silent or a slight little mm-hmm, mm-hmm. on the other side, I know it's going to be one of those like recorded things. Yeah. Yeah. And I usually just hang up. I'm surprised that was a person. <clears throat> no, that wasn't a person. I think what? that was a recording. Oh, it was that a was recording? Sure a recording. So now they, I wonder if they use recordings now. Probably. Artificial intelligence. Yeah. Taking good jobs from good Americans. <laughs> Fuck those people. Fuck those people. Yeah. <clears throat> so I guess we can say what happened. Okay. <laughs> I forgot what we were saying before I that. Well, we were talking, about, we were kind of getting into now, like once you're around. Oh, well, I was saying that, you know, you're my, you're my horror film wife um, to be my horror film wife. <clears throat> And uh, I can't lie that I've been searching all my life for experiences that are unexplainable, but they tend to not happen to me. You're very welcome. Thank you. No, seriously. More to come too. But it's funny because I act like I want that, but this story is an example of how I know I don't, right? So believe it or not, something ended up happening at my apartment. Yes. Um, We were just hanging out, watching TV. We were going to go get food. From noodles, some fun noodles or something like that. Noodle works? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. It's on Manal. Kind of by where you work. Hmm. Um, I remember it distinctly where we went to get food. We probably ordered it too. And like, bef- I think we did because it was before we were going to leave. And we heard the door to my dad's room creak open. Creak. And he locks his door. That was pretty good. Yeah, my dad would close and lock his fucking door, wouldn't he? Mm-hmm. Most of the time. Most of the time. So that was another thing. But also, I think the door... Okay, this is even creepier, though. That time, I think the door was closed, but there was a heavy-ass bag of laundry on the door handle. Because I remember like when he would do laundry, he had a huge bag that he would just use, yeah. you know? And I think it was hanging on the handle. So whatever moved it had to really move it. That's another thing. Okay. okay. Because it wouldn't have just like, you know. Yeah. So me in denial, (laughs) I think, I feel like I thought my dad was home. Mm -hmm. Like that was my first thought. (laughs) What? What? Say it. This guy was looking under the bed for the cat. You were in such denial. Oh, (laughs) that's what happened, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Because I thought it was catechist. I thought it was the cat. So. (laughs) He was like, it was the cat. No, yeah. So you sh- you pr- tell that part because that's like that's funny as fuck. Because I probably can't tell that part well because it was me doing it. So oh, you I was- were just <laughs> looking for a catechism. I th- I'm pretty sure he was just like laying down. It's like somewhere else yeah. completely, huh? Mm-hmm. So then I like I did that thing I do where I kind of like shut down and get quiet. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and you were probably like consoling me. 
And then I got rid of the voodoo doll. I got in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got really freaked out. I got really freaked out. I got rid of like everything that I thought may have induced that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so supposedly though, my dad said that that had already happened to him while he was in the room that the door opened out of nowhere. Huh? Ooh. Yeah. So Ooh. it was already happening. So it was all just freaky. It was all <clears throat> weird. And yeah, I, I threw away anything I thought would induce it, but that's kind of ironic because now I feel like in my possession, I have multiple things that could induce that. Oh. <laughs> you just that's what you thought would help yeah that's what i thought would help at the time i was just learning i was just a baby a baby witch at the time yeah i was just a, <laughs> <laughs> i was just a little you know having my first experiences which you were not ready for that's what you wanted ready and he for was it. not about that i'm still probably not ready You're for not, it no, no. Don't ever. she always tells me she's like be careful what you wish for yeah because he's sometimes you want an experience yeah and i'm like i was caught up in that for a while when i'm not around yeah i, I was caught up in that for a while yeah. i was kind of like because it's almost like yeah it's almost like a high it's like almost like getting high you're like wait what like okay like if spirits exist and then like there's maybe things you can do to see them or sense them or like even speak to them. Like yeah. it's intriguing. No. Yeah. I see. I want no <laughs> part of that. Yeah. None well, that's it. how my mind thinks. I'm like, I'm like that person. Like who's that like, guy. Yeah, I'm that guy. Is that what you that said? That wants that shit. Okay, and then you mess with the wrong stuff and I, then you're putting a curse <laughs> on your whole entire. I'm like a fucking, I'm thing. like an intellectual. I'm like fucking like a Christopher Lee who played Saruman and fucking, uh, Lord of the Rings, you know, he was oh, in a metal oh, band, yeah. you know, he had an occult like book fucking collection. I'm Damn. just like, I'm just like him. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, um, I'm like, I almost said Robert E. Lee. I'm pretty sure that's a Confederate general. <laughs> I'm not like Robert E. Lee. I'm like Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. You know, like Gothic writer guy. Yeah. Into crows. Huh. Oh. So that's my vibe. So you know, you knew what you were getting into. I knew I was getting into it with a woman whose life exists within the realm of like ghosts might be around the corner. The freaky. And you knew <laughs> that you were with a dude who was like emo, goth, Edgar Allan Poe, who wants to maybe experience some weird shit in his life. Yeah. And that's the reality. It's a match made in somewhere. I will say you've been very supportive. Yes. Because not to bring up ex-partners or anything, I scare the shit out of my exes. They'd oh, be like, yeah. what are you messing with? Or like, <laughs> I just knew things, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. They, it would freak them out. Like, but like, like you, when they were cheating. Yeah. Anyways. As you've given me a safe place to just, you know, yeah. be me. It's be not you. my fault. <laughs> I, ha I remember the turning point. Um, no pun intended. Just uh -huh. kidding, stupid. Anyways, <laughs> um, was when, uh, the stuff was happening at the other job, which I will not name, but you know what I'm talking about, that but it was when you worked there. It's not, it's when I didn't work there and it's when you were working overnight shifts oh and God. it's when really weird stuff was happening to you while you were working overnight shifts. Maybe, I don't know. Do you feel I can tell one. That's a pretty good one. That might be a good one yeah, to like grand go. finale. I'm going to sound a little nuts, but, but, like, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah. It was terrifying. And then, and then let's just say I spent a lot of time in that same space and it's fucking weird up in there. Let's just say that. And multiple people, like it's not just her. There's yeah. also another person who worked there who was telling us like they felt shit like in the new building. Remember mincing a lot oh, yeah. of names here, but yeah, so it's not just you. And then I started working there and there was some weird days, weird energy. There was, okay, I'll tell a quick one that happened okay. when I worked there. Yeah. Um, so what's it called? That kid came in to talk to, to do an assessment. Do you remember that? And he was oh, like, yeah. he was kind of like in a psychosis. Huh. He was like this young, really like gangster fool, like straight, straight vato gangster. looking fucker. I don't look at him wrong. And he was kind of in psychosis. So the therapist went to the office to like assess him. And I guess while he was in the office, he was saying that like, there's a demon who follows him. And he was saying that like, it's in the room right now. And he said that now that the demons on this property, like he's going to wreak havoc <laughs> all the while the residents of that job were doing like some heinous ass shit. And like, 
their group room. Couldn't right. Even look at them after that. Like I can't even say mm-hmm. what happened. Not appropriate. It was just like, they were supposed to be doing a group therapy. Let's just say. Yeah. And they were like sneakily doing some weird shit. Right. Oh. So that, and then like that, that kid left who was getting assessed. And then the therapist told me what he was saying. And then like, then they, those, the residents got caught doing what they were doing. And we were just like, what the fuck just happened? So like, there is something about that space, those grounds. Yeah. It's real fucked up. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of, uh, negative <laughs> loss, I guess you could say yeah. energy, just like evil energy, dark energy, whatever, whatever term, but a and, lot, it's yeah. all concentrated in one little area. Yeah. Especially yeah. for sure. what the job is and what we were there for and like why we were there like the population we were trying to help, like that all that comes with that is like such bad energy. Yeah. It's a spiritual battle. It, yeah. It's weird. And it's not their fault. It's not the resident's fault, but like, but uh, even people who do bear responsibility, like staff members and stuff, like even some of them come in with really dark energy or like take dark turns, huh? Anyways. Yes, they do. Yeah. That's something we also won't get too much into, but <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. Anyways, overnights, overnights. So I worked graveyard at that place. Um, there's, I used to take um, like a little nap for my break. So in the parking lot and I'm like falling asleep and I hear like someone walking through the rocks, Ooh. but it's not like a normal walk. It's kind of like a, a little bit of a drag. It's just like, but you could hear the rocks oh. and I'm like half asleep and I'm like, Ugh, you know, and it gets closer to my car and then like, I can't move, Ooh. but it's trying to pull me under to sleep. And I'm, t- I promise you I'm fighting it. And I, f- I felt chills on my scalp. Ooh. I was the present was so strong i felt chills on my scalp it was the weird i've never felt that in my life yeah and oh. i this sounds so crazy just i felt like it, it was fucking happened inside me i really felt like oh. the energy was trying to get in me that's why i was trying to put me down yeah like, like literally i was just like fighting it and i just remember being like don't fall asleep do not yeah. fall asleep and finally I was just like, oh, and I got up like that and chills all over my body. Like I said, my scalp and I just fucking freaked out. My, I worked with my mom. Oh, so sure. I just thought, mommy, <laughs> I was so scared. And I even like ran through the buildings because the outside to me at that point was just not safe. Oh, so yeah. I was like running through buildings. Finally, I went to the building she was in and I was like, mom, like this shit just happened to me. And she's like, she just like calmed me down and she's like, just eat real quick. And like, I swear to you, 10 minutes later, the guy we worked with comes in and he's like, who opened the gate? It was wide open within 10 minutes. No one could have opened that. When I left, that gate was fucking closed. And I looked at my mom, like, I, I'm pretty sure I had tears in my eyes. Oh yeah. I was like, what the, fuck? and he was, he was like scared too. Yeah. yeah. Cause we're all there by ourselves. We have all these clients to take mm-hmm. care of. Like we're there to protect. Yeah, literally. And a demon just tried to possess me and <laughs> everyone's experiencing this too. Right. Even my coworker. Oh. Yeah. And weird, weird shit happened that night. Cause <laughs> my mom would sleep. She wasn't supposed to, <laughs> but she was like, I kept having like this weird like dream or one of the girls was being sneaky or something. But she was like, I, I swear to you, I kept seeing someone walking around. And I was like, what the hell? So yeah, it was just like a weird ass night. Yeah. So whatever was happening that night, like everyone was experiencing it. It was not just me. Oh my God. But so that was probably the scariest. Mm-hmm. I always forget the gate part. Yeah. yeah. That part. And then when I know you're about to say it, I remember and I'm like, oh fuck, I forgot about that. Yeah. It's fucked up, huh? That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that straight up sucks. Like, and like the, the chills on my scalp, I can't even explain. Yeah. It yeah. was like, it was just so fucking eerie. I don't know if that's where it was trying to enter. Oh, could Do be. you know what I yeah. mean? Could but be, yeah. I, I just, the sensation on the top of my head was out of this world. Yeah. It was. Did you call me that night? I might've been up. Honestly, probably. You I probably was terrified. Me. Like it's very rare. I get that scared. And that's what I'm saying. Like it be, it became this thing. And this is what every 
man in a horror movie needs to realize, but I'm, I'm mostly joking. Every man in this world needs to realize this. I would rather believe my partner than be right. Oh yeah. I would rather Thank believe you. my partner than be right. And that's what I had to confront. Yeah. You know, cause you can only be in denial for so long, but after so long you gotta be like, no, I'm going to believe you unconditionally. Cause other weird shit would happen, happen though too in succession. So that happened. And mm-hmm. then these two other things happened. One of your coworkers found a rabbit mm-hmm. split open and the insides taken out in the middle of nowhere on the property. Mm-hmm. So that was, that's weird as fuck, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah. And then <clears throat> I don't think you were working, but your mom was working. And in the morning, a black goat showed up out of fucking nowhere. Oh, at See, the front door. It's weird that because as soon as you said the rabbit thing, I was like, man, it's always a rabbit or a goat. Mm-hmm. There you both. go. Both. So I'm witnessing this. And honestly, with the goat, I was Can like, I mention Come something on. with the goat. Oh, yes, please. Someone drew a fucking black goat on our calendar. And yeah. the next day that black coat goat showed up. That's fucking true too. And we That's were just like, weird. what? Cause I remember your mom was My weirded mom out. My mom was fucking weirded out. Yeah. She was like, why is this black goat? And then the next morning, yeah. come on. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story. I'm, well, it's and true. I think that was definitely the turning point. Cause I think so much was happening and I kept being like, okay, what the fuck? What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the black goat thing. And I was like, okay, I either live in a cartoon <laughs> yeah. or this is real, but I need to see a picture. And then I seen the picture and I was like, all right, creepy, huh? I give up. It was like, ugly, this shit's real. <laughs> like, this shit's black creepy. Goat. No, thank you. Yeah. <sighs> no. So, and where did you. it come from? I guess it's in the South Valley, but like still. Yeah. For sure. Like, no, who knows? How did it get on the property? There's gates. Yeah, that's fucking true. Also, thank Uh, you very fucking much. Makes no sense. I claim no energy from any of these conversations. Yes. Yes. We really packed a punch here. I mean, that's like, you know what? And if you guys, our audience friends, don't want to tell your scary stories, that's fine. (laughs) Because my future wife has enough scary stories for all of us. Enough to go around. Enough Enough to go around. Yeah, fuel you. To fuel the campfire. You know what though? And it's like, here's another thing. Like, I'm just, I'm just like, I enjoy our life so much. Like really, because like our life is genuinely exciting and it's like never dangerous. Like we keep our, we keep our wits about us, you know, but like there's never like dangerous shit happening. We're never like, Oh my God. Like, you know, it's not actually like a horror movie. It's not like you're playing with Ouija boards. No, 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 Mm -hmm. no. So in the, it's so it's just like, yeah, I'm 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 grateful to have an exciting life and an exciting that partner. Sounds like yeah, who's willing to go there with me? Yeah, we go there. Good. We do. You yes. need that support. <laughs> yeah. So there you have that, Esteban. Questions, comments, concerns. Concerns, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but concerns. <laughs> no, I mean that's. Uh, <laughs> You know, I don't even know how, like you're, you're built for this. There's certain people that right. are just built for that. Yeah. I'm not. If I saw some shit moving on its own, I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Right. Like I'm moving. I'm not even going to pay the lease. I don't care if I get in trouble and be like, no. Yeah. Bulldoze the complex and try again. Right. Yeah. Right. That's, you heard it here. Yeah. Cause like I luckily have never, I've never experienced anything, anything, even like something moving out the corner of my eye that I remember anyway. Right. I could totally be like suppressing something. But like my brother, he used to see um, this man standing in his closet Mm -mm. in our house Mm -mm. when he was younger. Wow. And he was always like, I don't feel like afraid of him. Like I don't, he's not scary, but Hmm. he's just like there and I see him. So then like, my mom had her aunts come into town and like <laughs> walk through and do their whole yep. <laughs> blessing thing that they do. And then he didn't see him anymore. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. I love that. Yeah. And that's cool. That's magic, baby. That that's is. magic. Ladies and gentlemen, that's yep. real Southwest magic. <laughs> it is yeah. real shit. Yeah, it gotta is. Get your aunties to do that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think it, I got, yeah. I think I might to your left there. I think I got the sage. I believe you do, I sir. Think it, yeah. That's the first thing I saw. And the, the Palo Santo. Yeah, the stick. We yep. love the stick. We love the wooden stick. We love the Santo. I got Here. into the. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Is that that good That's shit? That's that good, good. That's that good. That sticky icky. You know what we got, boy? 
We got that damn, mm. what is it? It has sage and what else? I can't remember the other thing that we got from Chimayo, New Mexico, oh, yeah. brother. I, I don't know. It's a motherfucking twist up, double spiritual. You got that, you got that loud pack of, <laughs> of I banish thee. I got that. <laughs> I got that exorcism loud pack. <laughs> yeah fucking exercise these demons well the more i look into this weird spiritual shit the more i learn that like it's interesting like exorcism is the name of the game even if you're trying to talk to a spirit supposedly right so like the same method you would use to banish a spirit you can also use to call a spirit oh um but either way you're exercising it and you're trying to force it to like do something you know Hmm. Well, that's what sucks. It's like a double whammy. It's like the real world's fucked up. The spiritual world might be fucked up too. Equally. God damn. Yeah. (laughs) I would say so. Yeah. (laughs) And that's why we use comedy to cope. Yes. Comedy plus tragedy. Yeah. Equals life. And and yeah. And that is why we're going to make a a horror movie to cope with all of it. You're goddamn right. Yeah. Estevan wrote a really good script. For a short film, short film competition. Yeah. That's now, the so last cool. time I helped someone make a short film, I was out all night and I forgot to text this one and she was pissed mm. and terrified. This guy. This Are guy. we to be him? expecting an all night shoot this time, Estevan? It's it, better that I ask you this now in person and on camera with it, people present. It, it will be a late night. Okay. I don't expect all night, but you never know. Okay. I'm going to try to be done at a decent time because, you know, we all got shit to do. Exactly. Um, Yeah. But, yeah, it's going to be a night shoot because it's got to be at night. It's got to be at night. Yeah. And we only have the location for a night. So now, honey, mayhaps you want to come help because guess where we're filming? Stranger Things 3, season 3? Season 4, I think. Season 4, house. Yep. Mm Mm-hmm. Estevan no gets the deal. location. I no check that out. Hell yeah. 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 That's really freaking awesome. Yeah. It's, it's going to be fun. Guys. It's yeah. going to be a good one. So. That's exciting. Maybe you come with. Yeah. Come come scope it out. Come Most scope definitely. it out. Maybe we have a behind the scenes. A little behind I'll the scenes. I'll see if it's haunted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe, maybe hold up. Maybe do some grip work, you know? Okay. Yeah. Come maybe do way. some grip work. I'll help y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. what we've got, is it this week? Is it this week we've got the moon? Yeah, we got a soul. Oh, oh I'm boy. honestly freaked out about this, guys. <laughs> he, he's been saying that. So I hope <laughs> we see you next time because <laughs> we have a Friday the 13th and a solar eclipse. Quit saying that. Back yep. to back. Yep. I'm just saying if there was any time to do like a ritual blood sacrifice. Oh. You know, the Redwood Forest is going to be popping oh, on those two days. On that Bohemian Grove's going to be bumping. Oh, everybody. going to be lit. Anybody who's anybody is going to be there. <laughs> fucking, oh, fucking Obama and Trump mm-hmm. sitting in a tree at the Bohemian Grove. F-U-C-K-I-N-G. Yep. Yep. I'm talking that talk. <laughs> <laughs> talking but anyways, that, that so Redwood yeah. Loud Pack. Yeah. If there was a time, if there was a time to like bring in the New World Order. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop that. smoking on that sacrificial lamb. Yeah. I'm talking like 48 <laughs> hours of just straight, just sacrificial straight witchery blood offerings <laughs> <laughs> from Friday the 13th all the way to the end of the eclipse. Yeah. My mind can't handle this. I know. Cause like, I do hope we're at the balloon fiesta, but I kind of hope we're not. You're going to have to let me know if anything weird happens on I will. those two, either of those two days. Yeah. For you I all. will. Cause yeah. We'll let you know. We'll keep you in the know. Yeah. I hope. Nothing happens. No, me too. I just want an average day. Knows. Just kidding. chill average time. Yeah. I'm just trying to have a nice day off. <laughs> yeah. That's all. I pray to God. But yeah. honestly, I'm going to be shitting bricks for like 20 minutes once the eclipse starts until it ends. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. Usually, like, and I love these things as a man of science, and I am a man of science. I am too. Okay. I am too. I'm a man of science, but I'm also, I, A, <clears throat> I saw on Twitter, someone said, how much do you believe in Ouija boards? And yeah. the person said enough to not use one. Yep. And that's how Amen I feel about that. the solar eclipse. That's- I said, hey, <laughs> I ain't no fool. Yeah. All right. Now, could we get an insane amount of views on our podcast if we said we do a Ouija board live? Oh, yeah. We would pop off. Am we would I pop gonna? off. No. I was. I'm, I almost was down. <laughs> 
Just you're, kidding. you're not coming home if you stop. <laughs> you can stay here. Like, no, I'm with that Twitter user. I'm with that Twitter yeah. user. I believe in them enough to not use one. To we're not with, fuck with one. We're with Twitter fingers. Yep. No thanks. So, yeah, we got some things happening, some things coming up. We got a solar eclipse. Yep. And um, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. So, in a, in, so in October. In October. Couldn't have been a better month to have both of those things in. Yeah. So who knows, but I don't know what we have planned next. Um, I don't either. We're just going to let the winds blow stuff. Our yeah. Way. I'm going to throw an idea out there. Okay. <clears throat> we did that for the Halloween kills. Yeah. I say maybe we go see the new exorcist and then oh, God. maybe we review. Oh God. Pending. Pending. Pending the solar eclipse. We'll Pending. see what happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pending the solar eclipse. Yeah. So do you like scary movies? I do. Movies like exorcist movies though is like or like evil dead rise yeah it's a little much for me it's a step up it's too it's a lot it's too much it's a lot to handle it is a lot to handle yeah it's you've gotten better um not by my choice it's because i (laughs) I feel like i just i don't care anymore but i also never realized how much like gore i consumed until you react and then i'm like wait yeah this is kind of a lot (laughs) (laughs) Kind of like, uh, well, you know, wasn't Jeffrey Dahmer's favorite movie, The Exorcist? It was. Oh. You scary. Yeah. Even in the show, huh? <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I just yeah. want to take some pictures. <laughs> 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 oh, you, you're you, good at that. See, Esteban does the best voices. You do. You just like it. But the problem is when he does that kind of like a, a voice of a, a cursed that. voice. A cursed voice. I and he does a cursed it. voice, a cursed impression. <laughs> Whew. Scary. I that is him. party hardy. <laughs> <laughs> party hardy. Stop. Party hardy. And so <sighs> nerdy. <laughs> well, that was some scary shit. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming on and sharing yeah. spooky, Thanks spooky stories. Me. Thank you, honey. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. I love you. And I'm ready to fucking too. blast off into this spooky life with you. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Let's do it. Wouldn't it be crazy if I proposed right now? Just kidding. <laughs> Dude, that would be insane. I know, right? <laughs> Never. Imagine being proposed to on your boyfriend's podcast. Oh my God. Dude, Dude, fuck no. Oh my God. That's that would some, be like, frat bro shit. Yeah. Oh that's... Everything I hate. <laughs> <laughs> On your uh, on your boyfriend's podcast your- that gets ten views, <laughs> <laughs> but then you saying no helps us go viral. So no, that's true. Kidding. That's true. Uh, but yeah, thank you, baby. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you so much. Fun. This is a lot of fun. Let's go home and go spooky to, to October. And hopefully, the listeners slash viewers loved it as well. And if you have anything spooky, there's still time. There's still time. Get your stories in on here to freak us out. Yep. You're goddamn right. Yeah. So until next week. Yep. Uh, uh, you know, as long as nothing crazy happens with the eclipse. Pending solar eclipse. And Friday the 13th. Be <sighs> safe out there. Be safe. Try not to do too many um, spell cast. Is that the right word? Spell yeah. Don't casting. cast too many spells. Yeah. Cleanse your crystals or something. Don't you know? do yes. mushrooms during the solar eclipse. Oh, God. Oh I God. mean, <laughs> yeah. Talk about a bad trip. Talk about some common sense. Darkness overcometh the earth. Yeah, and you're just like, oh my god, god damn! In a cookie jar, and someone's putting the lid on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah, don't do drugs yeah. at all. And if you don't do drugs, and you happen to be here next week, we'll see you around. See you then.